Hey there guys, and Johnny Rose here, and welcome to this Ever Webinar training, where I'm going to show you everything you need to know in this Ever Webinar training about using Ever Webinar. We're going to talk about why you would use Ever Webinar. I'm going to show you how to set up an automated webinar in Ever Webinar. We're going to talk about its strengths and its weaknesses and all the different aspects and toggles that you can do within it so that you can use Ever Webinar to the best of your ability. Now as well as watching this Ever Webinar training, and thank you so much for being here. If you haven't picked up Ever Webinar already, I strongly encourage you to do so. If you click the link below and sign up to Ever Webinar, sign up, you'll get it completely free. Then you can actually try Ever Webinar for yourself. There's no point watching Ever Webinar training, or rather, the best Ever Webinar training you could actually really have is by doing it yourself. But Check out what I'm going to show you now. I'm going to take you through Ever Webinar and all its different aspects, but do click the link below and sign up. Remember to sign up and pick up Ever Webinar for yourself so you can actually do your own Ever Webinar training yourself. Let's go. One thing I also do want to say very quickly is the difference between Webinar Jam and Ever Webinar made by the same company. The reason why you would use Ever Webinar and keep this in your head is that Ever Webinar is for automated webinars. It's for running webinars when you are not present. So the key difference between Ever Webinar and Webinar Jam is Webinar Jam is for live webinars when you are speaking live to people. Ever Webinar is once you have a recording, once you have a video file of a previous historic webinar or video that you have made, you upload it into Ever Webinar and then you can set Ever Webinar to play on you know key times you know, three times a day, four times a day, and the responsibility is on you or your affiliates or whoever you're using to get attendees to turn up. But you do not need to be present with Ever Webinar. It shows your video file that you upload in it automatically at set times during the day. I'll show you how you can tell it what to do. So I hope that just makes sense to you that this is not for live streaming or live webinars. It's for pre-recorded webinars that you want to run as if they are automated. So I hope that makes perfect sense. Let's actually jump into Ever Webinar now and have a look at it. Now I've been an Ever Webinar user for over a year now and I'm very happy with it. It does everything I need it to do, which is, as I say before, it runs automated webinars for me, which I don't need to be present for, which make a lot of money for me, which is wonderful. And again, just so you remember, click the link below, get a free trial. That's the best way you can understand how to use Ever webinar to create automated webinars or how to create an automated webinar with Ever webinar. Now, as with all good Ever webinar demos, you want to actually understand what you're looking at. Now, this is the first screen you will see. So when you first jump in, you'll have home, my webinars, which you can see here, my analytics, which are going to take you through key statistics from any webinars that you set up in Ever webinar. Now, of course, Yours will be blank because yours will be completely new, I'm assuming. I'm assuming you are not an Ever Webinar user at this point. If you click the link below, become one, you will not regret it. But when you click My Analytics, you can see the visitors, the sign up rates to your webinars. You know, I'm at about 25%, how many registrants I've had, how many live attendees, how many people actually show up. So you can see show up rates. So this is brilliant for those of you who are trying to drive people to webinars where you're selling a product or selling a service and it will help you optimize or work out um, what to do. Here's something really cool and interesting. Inside Ever Webinar, it shows you attendee engagement. It actually shows you how where are people dropping off. So you know people turn up there. And of course, let's be honest, with a webinar that I'm running at the moment, it's over two hours long. It actually shows you where people are dropping off. And you can use this to improve the recording or live video that you're showing. It, you can actually use this to show uh, that you know improve the quality. If you know people are dropping off, you can change what you say and then re-upload a new video to try and see if it keeps people's attention. Now, I'm not doing that because I'm a little lazy, but again, for the purposes of this Ever Webinar demo, I just wish to show you what the analytics are like in here. Then finally, here's a really cool thing for those of you who are building an email list, who want to collect the email details, you can do that by clicking My Active Registrants. And again, you can basically get all of the contact details of everyone who has ever attended any of your webinars. You can get their email address, you can get their first name, you can get their geography, last name. You can collect this all in a form before people sign up to attend your ever webinar webinar, but it's also collected here. And here's the other key thing I wish to draw your attention to. There is training. Again, it's all good that you listen to me showing you how to set up an automated webinar in Ever Webinar. It's all good you listening to me, Johnny Rose, 
giving you a demo of EverWebinar, but actually what's much better is to listen to EverWebinar telling you about EverWebinar, which you can do by clicking the training here. So I hope that all makes sense. Now, what I do wish to do is actually set up a webinar, right? Let's actually set up an automated webinar. Now this won't be exhaustive. I'm not gonna go through everything and all things. I want this to be quick. I want this to be compelling. I want this to be interesting. All you will need to set up an automated webinar in EverWebinar is a video file. That's the key thing you need to bring to EverWebinar before even getting started with setting up your own automated webinar in EverWebinar. You need to have a video file or a link to a video file. Now watch this, you go to start, you know, to create a new webinar, just like I've created one here. You click add webinar and you go through these steps. It's very methodical. You don't need to do any thinking. You go through configuration, you go through schedules, you go through registrations, notifications, integrations, thank you, live replay and finish. Again, I'll show you the settings. I don't know if we'll go through all of them in meticulous detail, but try and understand what this is taking, ever webinars taking you through. So the very first thing, the very first thing when you are setting up your first automated webinar in EverWebinar, the very first thing you'll be asked is to a source file. What is the video? What is the recording that EverWebinar must show to your attendees? So I'm going to click an external video file and I'm just going to add a Vimeo file. Now this is not a proper thing. This is one of my Vimeo files. It doesn't, frankly, it doesn't matter what it is. It's just for dem ever webinar demo purposes. Now, what it will ask you to do is, so you can see here that the formats allowed are MP4, YouTube, and Vimeo Pro. It will ask you for the duration of your video. So you'll need to know the duration of your video file once you add it. It won't just automatically assume it or, or work out what it is. You'll need to type it in. And I know that the file I've added here, again, for this ever webinar demo purposes, it's not a proper or serious webinar you will see that it's uh, three minutes and 12 seconds. Then you'll go to basic settings. That's the next thing. Now, basic settings is where you enter basic details of your webinar, of your automated webinar. So this is Johnny Rose's test ever webinar demo. This is for private use, but I'm actually gonna duplicate this because I just want this to be seen by anyone who attends. Like, this is what it is. Webinar description. This You can set the webinar language. Of course, you can add a thumbnail here as I've done. Then you get down here to uh, whether you want to list your webinar. Now, the really interesting thing about EverWebinar and about setting up automated webinars in EverWebinar is that actually, if you want to boost attendance, EverWebinar will actually display any automated webinar that you set up in EverWebinar on its public marketplace, which means you can actually get extra people extra people you know who aren't on your list or haven't been emailed by your friends or affiliates or people who've t asked who've sent traffic towards your webinar it will, will actually sign up as well so that's a great way to boost your audience they can you can uh, you can tell everyone uh, ever webinar please list this webinar that i've created in your on-demand section however for the purposes of this ever webinar demo i'm just going to say don't list my webinar keep it private so after I've done the basic settings where I've typed in the webinar name and title and description and added a thumbnail so it looks nice and neat, then you can, you can add your EverWebinar presenters. And of course, I've got mine preloaded because I have EverWebinar webinars already set up, but you would just add your name, yourself and the host. So then you go on to the next step, which is the schedule. Now, this is where you set up when does EverWebinar, you know, when does EverWebinar actually play your automated webinars, right? So in this, if you wanted it to play, for example, every day, so you can have it set, you know, on, in, on a particular day or every day, every day at say 1 p.m. I'm just going to go for every day at 1 p.m. just as a completely arbitrary time. I can now set it so that my automated webinar that you have just seen is a set up, get set up at, um, which plays every single day at 1 p.m. in the user's own time zone. Now you can set it so it plays in other time zones faithfully at 1 p.m. or any time you choose or multiple times through the day. But just for this example, for this ever webinar demo, it would just be playing at 1 p.m. in the user's own time zone. But I hope that makes sense. Now there are a few other, you can set as many schedules as you want. Like I say, you can set your automated webinar in ever webinar to play three times a day, you know, 1 p.m., 3 p.m., 10 p.m. You can set it to play, um, you know, twice a day, some days, other days. You can do all sorts of variations. You are not constricted 
to anything I'm just using every day at 1 p.m. in the use zone time zone as an example. Other things you can do, you can set an instant replay. You can allow for late attendance for people who sign up just before the webinar starts, you know, say at 12.59 and I've got it at 1 p.m. and you can still let them attend. You can do all sorts of very neat and nifty things as well. So I'm just going to add that and confirm. Then let's move on to, do you see how it's really nice? It just moves you on from configuration to schedules to registration. Now, the next thing you want to get into with registration is registration page design. Now, of course, people don't just end up on your ever webinar webinar by accident. They need to sign up through a page with a form on it, which says collects their first name, their last name and their details and their phone number and any other things you add to the form. What's really cool is EverWebinar comes preloaded with templates. You do not need to be a designer or a CSS whiz or some sort of web hero to understand how to do this. So you can see here, for example, that you can get page designs, which have already been preloaded. You can create your own page designs if you wish, but there are templates and examples you can see here of page designs which people will be going to to sign up to this webinar. What's also really cool is you can also design the form itself. So not just the whole page that the form sits in, but the form itself. So you can look at the various designs. Now here's an example, a very basic design. You've probably seen this times and again. You have your face at the top, you have the title that we typed in in that first menu, you know, the different settings and the schedules with a toggle if people want to choose other times. I hope this makes sense. These are just your basic kinds of forms which you can set up again, you can design these as you wish, but they're already here and preset to make it as simple as possible for you to get your automated webinar in webinar in EverWebinar set up. Other things you can do is, is actually customize the registration form field. So you can actually decide which data you wish to collect on people who are signing up to your webinar, their first name, their last name, uh, their geography, their phone number, as a bit of advice, I always encourage and suggest that people only have two fields. The more fields you have, the less likely it is for people to sign up your webinar and you want people attending your webinar. So just collect your first name and uh, email address is my suggestion. Then you can also connect this to a payment portal. So if you, you want to charge people to attend your automated webinar in EverWebinar, then you can actually you can actually do a paid regis registration. You can connect it to a Stripe or PayPal or Payoneer, and then people can pay. Then they will, you know, when the form submits, a payment is made. So I hope that makes sense as well. Then moving through now to your email gateway. Now this is, you know, what the, the reason why this is really important is. So we're now in notifications. If you're right here, we're now in notifications. What's really good is that EverWebinar sends out emails to confirm people have registered to, and to remind people to attend. You do not need to have an email platform. You don't need to have GetResponse or EverWebinar or Constant Contact or any email platform to send out these reminder emails. They're sent out from within the platform by EverWebinar completely automatically. Now, you can have your own autoresponder and email platform if you wish, but I'm just letting you know that EverWebinar sends out these emails automatically within Ever webinar, if that makes sense. So you don't have to do anything or change anything. Now, examples of the sorts of email uh, webinar notifications you get, well, you can see here, there's something called a sign up confirmation message. This goes out immediately every time someone signs up to one of my automated webinars in EverWebinar. It says confirmation and then a link to the, the future happening, occurring webinar. There's also a last minute Notification again, you can customize this. You can have as many or as little webinars as you want sent by Everwebinar Ever, Ever Webinar as you wish. You can set it up so that Everwebinar texts people if you've collected their mobile phone or their cell phone, or you can call as well. But here's a last minute notification 15. I've told Everwebinar 15 minutes before my automated webinar starts. Please send them webinar alert. We're about to start, and that will be emailed to all registrants at the right time. So that's really cool. You don't need to have your own email account to do this, however you can, in integrations, add your own email responder, autoresponder. This is good to collect the leads, collect the registrants straight onto your email list. You can see here, I use GetResponse. So if you don't have an email autoresponder yet, click the link below and sign up to GetResponse. It works really well and I collect a lot of leads directly and immediately. Who, have, As soon as people sign up to my ever webinar, they join my GetResponse email list. But you can add Kartra, Aweber, ActiveCampaign, Infusionsoft, MailChimp, GetResponse, Ontraport, iContact, ConvertKit, Drip, Zapier, 
Constant Contact and Maripost. These all work and can be integrated into EverWebinar so that you yourself can send emails and collect leads from within EverWebinar. So that's really cool and helpful. Then what you can also do, of course, is with, as a, you can set up a thank you page. So literally a thank you page just says thank you to people as soon as they register for your webinar. Literally as soon as they sign up, as soon as they sign up, they will see like a thank you as well as a link. Now, you don't have to send someone a thank you page. You can also redirect them to another page, you know, an affiliate page, or you can send them to your own custom page on your blog or wherever you want them to go. As soon as they sign up, you can send them somewhere. So that's a great way to collect the traffic and not just wait for them to join your webinar. You can send them to a different website or URL if you wish. But I just keep people on EverWebinar's default confirmation page. You can also do other things like surveying your registrants so you can actually ask them questions. What do they expect from the webinar? What do they like or dislike about it? Really great ways to collect intelligence, collect insights, collect data on the people who have signed up to your webinar. So you can, I guess, sell to them more or learn more about them. And you can also design your thank you page. Moving on from that now, we get into the live section, which is really what setting up and designing what happens when your webinar is live, when the person and the viewer is actually watching it. Now you can design a countdown, you know, a three, two, five, one. You can actually design, this is quite cool. You can actually look at, change the design of the actual visible room itself. This is what people will be seeing. If you can imagine during a webinar, you can design the colors, whether it's black, white, excuse me, purple, you have the chat box on the right, but you might prefer a slightly different background. You might prefer blue on white or blue on gray. So all sorts of different templates. You can have it in pink, you can have it in rouge. All these things can be designed. Again, I don't mess around with these things. I want to make my automated webinars and ever webinar as easy and quick as possible. So I just leave it as is. Otherwise, you can add polls and quizzes. If you're someone who wants to add a polls and quizzes, There's a you can set it up to have a live chat box, or if you don't want your attendees typing in anything because you won't be present, it's automated, so you do not need to be present as this runs, then you can just turn it off. I tend to turn it off. You can do other things like highlight announcements. You can make product offers. Now, this is really cool. Product offer is probably the most important thing that you can do with an automated webinar in EverWebinar because as I imagine you're doing, most people are doing with automated webinars is you're selling something where you're going to be educating your audience talking to them and then ultimately asking them to buy something. That's usually how people are using EverWebinar. Well, of course, you're not live. You may be playing a video of you speaking live, uh, playing a video that you've pre-recorded, but you're not present there to actually copy and paste a link to your product or service and put it in chat box at the right time. You can pre-set it in EverWebinar to actually put a link in the chat box or make it pop up on the screen your offer, you know, like Johnny's offer, Johnny's offer, and you can have an image, buy now 50% off, you know how in webinars you always say there's a 50% discount if you buy now, get it, get, get it now, and then you can put a link, link to purchase, and as you can see here, hopefully, you can actually set when during the webinar it should pop up, right? If you know during the webinar that at 47 minutes and two seconds, you say, click the link now if you wish to purchase my product, you'll need to type in here 42 minutes and seven seconds so as to get people to click, you know, so it correlates with what you're showing on screen. But this is awesome. It basically means you can run these automated webinars and get people buying forever without you ever being present. That is the power of Ever webinar and just how wonderfully easy it is. Now, there are a few other things you can do. None of them are particularly important and I don't want to make this web ever webinar demo longer than it needs to be. Otherwise, you can set up replays, you know, and, and what this, and but other than that, you're finished, right? It's that quick and simple. And I think what I want to impress upon you right now is this is the easiest way to set up an automated webinar with EverWebinar or just set up an automated webinar in general, how it's so easy to use EverWebinar, right? This, you've seen how quick this demo went. When you're doing this, and again, click the link below, get started, just practice right now, click the link below, sign up and get start, get start using it. You can do this in about 12 minutes and you just need to do it once, leave the setup and you could be earning 
tens, in my experience, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, because these webinars just play on repeat over and over again. It takes about 12 minutes to set up an automated webinar. I took probably a little longer because I've had to talk slowly through things. Once you've done it once, again, click the link below to pick up Ever Webinar. Once you've done it once, you will do it in about 12 minutes. It's so simple and these will make you a ton of money. So click the link below. I hope this has been an enjoyable EverWebinar demo. I hope it's helped you understand how to use EverWebinar, how to set up an automated webinar in EverWebinar. Click the link below to pick up EverWebinar now, completely for free. Just jump in and try it right now. And if you have any questions about EverWebinar, I'd love to help you. Click the, Just leave a comment in the description box and I will reply. Johnny Rose from Push Button Profits. Give my uh, web, uh, my uh, YouTube channel a subscribe if you've really val valued this and it's been useful. And pick up Ever Webinar through the link below. It's free. Why not?